Years later, it's a series where I take a look back on the past, pop culture, and cinema, and see if films that are 10 or more years older still hold up. Today's episode? Yucky. <laughs> I now pronounce you Chuck and Larry. Now I pronounce you Chuck and Larry. So the reason I'm doing it years later on this movie is because I watched it a lot as a kid. I was about 7 years old when the movie came out on a DVD, which do you think kids nowadays like 5 or 6 year olds know what that it is? Like a Blu-ray player or a DVD player? Because everything's streaming now, and so I don't know. But movies like Alvin and Chipmunk trilogy or whatever i had fun with those back on it though i don't think those movie has uh aged well or been good since that time but i remember watching that chuck and larry there is a lot of nostalgia for this movie it was on netflix and i was pretty excited to rewatch it i laughed quite a bit back then watching it now not as much i don't think it's as funny as again back in 2007 but i still really enjoyed this movie mainly because of adam sandler and kevin james this is the first movie i've seen them both together and my first time seeing them in a movie and so whenever i eventually get to adam sandler Sandler's filmography. I have this to thanks to because this is my first time seeing him and Kevin James in a movie together. Their chemistry together works. That's what makes it works. Everything else is fine. It gets a couple laughs here and there, maybe some chuckles, but both of them on screen together being like quote unquote gay for Kevin James's daughter or kids' health care because it's expensive. And all of this was supposed to be like hush hush, you know, keep it down. Adam Sandler, he's clearly like not gay. He has like like five girls, Asian girls on the side, ready to do some kinky stuff here and there the doctor dr stone or dr yeah stone i forgot any that doctor comes back a dominatrix i think or something like that but this movie works because both of them are together trying to be quote-unquote gay they even make it even more serious and even more worse where they're like making it official it's supposed to be you know this private thing but then it got out and now everyone on the course kind of looks down on them for just being gay things change i do remember jessica bill in this movie this is my first introduction to jessica bill and then the texas chainsaw massacre remake but i do remember one scene of her in this movie that i remember remember liking a lot back as a kid and uh, I still do now of her in her apartment Adam Sandler getting a sweater covering his uh below area and just watching that scene um yeah you know this whole thing was just a whole ruse to get health care for his kids causes this whole chaos thing and even one of the firefighters comes in trying to fight Adam Sandler but turns out this black guy this very tough looking black guy is able to come out essentially because of what Chuck and Larry did and so there's this moment in the bathroom you know where a lot of stereotypes in this movie and some of them be a bit like tone deaf a little bit i will admit some of it's not really funny but the whole drop the soap in the prison or in the shower that happened in this movie and he's singing dancing and whatnot still pretty funny in the end both of them are like yeah we're not really gay we did it for health care or whatnot trying to help out a friend in the end i think jessica bill and adam Sandler they get together kevin james gets his family i still really like this movie it's not as funny back then again i was only seven so watching it now i was like yeah okay there's some things some like really stereotypical stuff here and there i still enjoy Enjoy the movie maybe a part of that is nostalgia i will say this movie will be offensive to some people i will admit i guess i can get it right there are some bad tone deaf stuff but i don't know i don't maybe laugh maybe it's just complete ignorance on my part as to why i don't find it offensive maybe that's the case but i didn't really see it as offensive i wasn't really offended really it was just i don't know a fun comedy that's how i see this movie really as so in the end i now pronounce you chuck and larry does it hold up yes i still think it holds up the chemistry between kevin james and adam sandler are still good some people may find it offensive thought it was still funny on some places here and there a fun comedy to laugh not like the best comedy ever but because of nostalgia i do have a special place for it and because of their lie about being gay it does help one of their co-workers come out finally embracing like this whole like secret he had and whatnot or maybe i'm just trying to convince myself that this movie is good the movie still holds up there's like a fart joke in the very beginning which is like okay this is a good sign that this might hold up but again that chemistry between kevin james and adam sandler i do get it if you don't like the um gay stereotypical jokes and whatnot like that stuff is like i can get why you might not like it it's not your favorite genre cup of tea or you might be offended by that but i don't know i just as someone who's oblivious to all of that that isn't in that community you know i just it didn't really bother me really and then there's that scene of the two sisters where adam and Sally's like hey you know what kiss each other just so that they can prove which one loves him the most and while that scene is weird it is played for laughs but it's also like i don't know it's like the whole like realism kind of argument like are you going to watch movies for the realism or just you want to see some crazy shit like i don't know because comedies for me i'm gonna go in all limits are off make fun of anything you want that's just me personally but I also get why this movie might be offensive to some people so for me whenever i go to a comedy all limits are off do whatever you want and if i laugh i laugh if i don't and then i don't comedy itself and art in general that's all subjective so that is it for me this has been the road so far and thank you for watching